One of the most common problems you will run into as a web developer is that the footer does not stick to the bottom of the viewport when you don't have enough content. In this video, you'll see how to solve that problem. Okay, so I have an example project here and you can see we have a header on top, we have some content here and then we have the footer, right? So the problem is that the footer is sitting here instead of at the bottom of the viewport. So how do we solve this? So you need to look at the structure of your application. So this is a very uh, typical uh, structure. So we have uh, an app component and in the app div, we have the header, some content component, and then the actual footer component. Now, what you need to do is you need to identify the parent element of the footer, right? This is gonna be the cleanest solution and that's available right now. There are some other solutions that people have come up with over the years, but I'm gonna show you the cleanest one. And, and part of that is identifying the parent element of the footer. For me, it's this div with a class of app, right? Now, some of you may have, you know, some kind of container element in between, right? So you may have something like this. In that case, it's this container element that's the parent element of the footer, right? But for me, it's this app or the div with a class of app. So I will go to the CSS where it is selected. And the first thing we need to do is we need to set a min height. And actually, let me show you before I do that. Let me show you why we need to do that very quickly. So I'll make this a little bit wider. Right, so here I can control the height of the viewport. We call this the viewport, which means the visible area of the, of the web page. And right now this div with a class of app does not extend all the way to the bottom, right? Because there's not enough content yet. So that's why the footer is sitting here, right? So the first step is to make this app stretch all the way to the bottom of the viewport. So we're gonna say the height of this app needs to be at least, right, min height, 100% of the viewport height, right? Could be more. In that case, we're gonna get a scroll bar, that's fine. But it should be at least 100% of the viewport height, meaning of the visible area, right? So now um, when, we, when we select this here, you can see the blue area extends all the way to the bottom, right? So that's step one. The parent element needs to get that minimum height. And then what you need to do is um, we're gonna solve this issue with Flexbox. So we're going to make this app a so-called flex container you do that by setting display flex and there is some default behavior, which is that the, the child elements will sit on the same row horizontally, right? We don't want that. We want to keep that vertical flow. So we're going to change that to flex direction column. Then we have this and now uh, you could say nothing has changed, but that's not true because now we have unlocked the Flexbox functionalities. And one of the things that we can do is now go to the footer. The footer right now, because it's a child element of the app, which is a flex container, which makes this a flex item. So what we can do with the footer here is use margin auto. And there is some special behavior with margin auto in Flexbox. And here we wanna say margin top auto. When you do that, we have solved the issue because margin top auto will place as much margin between itself and the, and the next element as possible, which will push itself downward, right? This is the cleanest solution to this problem. And let me prove to you that this also works if we add more content, right? So let's say here, we're gonna add more content at some point and you'll see that the footer will stay at the bottom, right? We could add some margin on the bottom here of this uh, content part to, to add some space between uh, itself and the footer, but you get the point. Okay, now over time, people have come up with other solutions as well. So let me actually show you why those solutions are not uh, that good. So let me undo this. So I'll undo the entire uh, solution here. Right, so now we have this problem again. Now what you're gonna see sometimes is that people will try to use position absolute. So they'll go to the footer and they'll say position absolute and then it should set zero pixels from the bottom, right? And then we have this, we also have to set the width to 100%, right? So now you think, well, we have solved it, right? The problem here is that when you add more content, and so now we're gonna expand our app. We're gonna have more content at some point. And now you're gonna get this weird, uh, well, uh, result, right? This is not what we want, right? So position absolute is not the cleanest solution. Also, some people will try to do this with a CSS grid. And I highly recommend against that. There are only very few situations that CSS grid is actually a good option. Most of the time you actually wanna use Flexbox. 
right? So it's really important that you understand CSS. It doesn't take that long. So definitely check out my professional CSS course in which you will master all of those important concepts and more. Um, but especially Flexbox is really important these days. So make sure you master that. Now, sometimes what people will also try is to, uh, well, let me actually undo this. What sometimes people also try is they make, they, they're gonna change the height of this content part. So they're gonna go to the content and they're gonna say something like min height. Well, they're gonna do a calc function here. So the height of this area here is gonna be 100% of the viewport height minus the height of the header. Let's say that's something like 60 pixels. I don't know exactly what it is. Minus the height of the footer, which could be something like 50 pixels, right? I, had, I don't have to write numbers right now, but you can see that sort of works here as well. The problem with this is of course, that as you change the, the header or the footer, you're gonna have to go in here and you know fiddle with the numbers again, right? So this is also not a clean solution. Okay, now maybe you want something else. You want, you want the footer to actually be fixed to the viewport. We can do that as well. We can simply say position fixed. And it should be zero pixels from the bottom. Now you're gonna get that width issue with, uh, just as with a position absolute. So I'm gonna say with 100%. So now it's sitting at the bottom and as we add more content, it will stick to the bottom. So it will, it will scroll uh, with with the user basically if i scroll you can see it actually is fixed to the bottom of the viewport right maybe this is something you want um maybe for like an, a newsletter sign up uh component right you see this sometimes in the real world and you can do that with position fixed by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon